Hey, what's going on ladies and gentlemen, it is Frank here, welcome to another episode of Fire Emblem 8, the Sacred Stones walkthrough. Um, hopefully you guys are having a fantastic day. I am looking quite nice, my coughing is a bit better, <coughs> just a bit, and um, yeah, we're ready to do chapter 12 on Ephraim's Road. I'm very excited for that. Yeah, hopefully you've been seeing the notifications on stream, because uh, I'm streaming more, I'm streaming some games. I'm planning on streaming FE9 soon, and I'm um, streaming also a lot of Pokemon Showdown, because, you know, I have the Pokemon channel, and also Pokemon Emerald Randomized, just for Twitch. So if you guys are interested in that, there's a link in the description as always. Today, though, <coughs> uh, last episode in the Ephraim's route was actually the boat, and that was a nightmare. It claimed the kill. Uh, rest in peace, um, Larachel. <laughs> you were cool, but you died. Uh, in any case... <coughs> Today, we're going to see what chapter 12 has for us. Um, it's going to be nice, hopefully. Landing in Tazel. There it is. No map. We didn't have the chance to go to the map, so... Go directly here. And I'm really sure I have to buy some basic weaponry as well, so... Ugh, maybe I'll do it on the shop, in the pre-game shop. I know there's a shop here in this map as well, so that's good. Put Ephraim, we've docked in Tazel. There's no sign of enemy troops at this time. On the suit, let's move quickly and prepare to go ashore. We've straight road of the capital from here. But we'll be fighting every step for every step. Yes, and the fighting will only grow fiercer as we near the capital. If I may, my lord, I'd like to make a suggestion. What? Okay. We have Ewan and Sele for some reason. If you would do the, er the Ephraim's route, they are completely in the opposite side of the world. Things of life. Uh, <coughs> interesting. Um, this is a town, isn't it, Ewan? Yep, thanks a lot, teacher. This is where Maurice and I supposed to be. He's supposed to be. I have to tell her what's going on, or she'll be under working for free. What happened? I've heard there was some mistake, but... Yeah, the mercenary guild got Marisa mixed up in someone else. I don't know where she was supposed to go, but they sent her he here instead. I figured I'd be better to let her know about the mix-up, right? So, what are you going to do now? I'm heading back to the village. I've looked near and far, but I haven't been able to look at the draw dragon. So yeah, now uh, it's when he's coming back, and then he'll meet with Erica. I see. It's fine. It's actually quite interesting to do the both stories at the same time. I never did it, but uh, now I'm seeing things that actually may connect to each other quite well, of course, right? But uh, no, it's cool to see it. <coughs> I must report my findings. Oh, I see. I'll be going now. Remember what I told you, Ewan. I know, I know. Don't be reckless with magic. Well, I better get going and find Marisa. That looks like a good place to start asking around. Yep. And he's he'll be there. Ephraim from the east. That won't do, Seth. I cannot approve of sending reservists to the front lines. <laughs> but to grow the army on numbers was by a, a tremendous amount. You have talented soldiers, but that counts for nothing against those numbers. Currently we have some ready reservists in the in the rear protecting our supply and convoy. But it's good if defending our convoy is if it costs uh, of losing the front. We must abandon we must abandon our rear gun and strengthen the van of we were already lost. This is enemy territory. We cannot surrender to the convoy. But Prince Ephraim Seth, I know you want to improve the odds of our success. But the convoy is very important. I have to check it in the middle of a battle. And I know you make these suggestions in part to protect me from harm. However, I have no intention of changing my mind if it's I Mir? <laughs> Uh, poor Mir. Ignored. Oh, pardon me. Uh, uh, it's nothing. Mir. Okay. We've been spotted, finally. Prince Ephraim, it's a trap! The city is crawling with Grother Man. We're under attack. Prince Ephraim. All the troops prepared to fight. Two arms! Oh, yeah. The hard part of this mission, I think, is that you have... You had no time to prepare from last chapter, so... We'll have to be quick. Um... I want to use Tana, though. Like, oh, yeah, it's replaced with Dusel. Easy. Alright, I'll do the, all the preparations that need to be, and I'll be right back. Okay, so... I think... Oh, no, 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 I forgot to do something. Wait. Okay, now I'm ready. I forgot to do the formations. How bad of me. Alright, so... We have a pretty big map today. This map is pretty big. Um, as you can see, the strategy seems quite simple. You have two paths to go. We're going to be taking one and then the other. 
and basically we're going to be defeating the Brothers for that. Now there's going to be re uh, special reinforcements soon, you'll see, next turn I think, if I remember correctly it was second turn or third turn, uh, but yeah, we're basically the option here, uh, the objective here is to defeat the boss which is Kalak, and he's definitely very strong, but uh, he's there. Is he going to be Kalak? I don't know. There's Marisa here. We can recruit her eventually. Maybe. Who knows? And there's these shops I want to visit and buy some stuff as well. Uh, there's the arena, but I don't do arenas in my Let's Plays because that's grinding and I don't like that. That's not for pussies. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that, but no. Um, anyways. So we're going to be dividing my forces pretty much. Um, <clears throat> and that's pretty much it, honestly. Um, hmm. Yeah. Uh, who's got the... Okay, wait. <laughs> I do want to take the halberd down here. We may need that before ending. And there's this pirate over here. I want to deal with them with... This guy. And this guy. They're pretty good on that. Um, I want to be remaining. I want to remain with my flyers close because there's going to be the reinforcements. I do remember that. And I'm with him over here, and this place can deal with these guys. Uh, Kyle should be able to deal with him, I think. And then Loot and Seth. They're pretty strong. And I don't really know what to do with him. Uh, with Mother, I guess I'll keep him here. And we'll see. Okay. Nice. So, now things will change a bit. Soldiers of Grado, you call yourself warriors? You're pathetic. Fort Brigwald, you lost it. You're General Dursel? Traitor. Where is the honor of the Grado Imperial Army? It wallows in filth and mud. <laughs> yeah, Kalak does have the best motivations. <coughs> is this is the ending you envisioned? This is how you would be remembered? Will you let this bard sing of how you fell to the renegade Ephraim? I think not! Now get up and fight! Kill them all! Bring me Ephraim's head! Oh yeah, here they come. <coughs> <coughs> I'm very happy to be playing this game. It's fun. I always have uh, a lot of fun playing this game, honestly. Welcome back, good old Fire Emblem. Now I only have to be careful with these dark mages with them, because they are the worst. Yeah, look, look at them. And now is when things start to change. <laughs> Kellogg, interesting. What are you doing here? You were ordered to lose your dogs of war on Johanna, were you not? Keep silent, you the crappy sod. I told you, Johanna's under control. My plan is in full effect. All I need to do now is wait. You see, Johanna is an overripe fruit. It's being devoured by worms from within. We can plug it at any time we wish. <laughs> oh, how your plan seemed to have gone over our... Over I, damn it. Even now Erika made her way toward Johanna. Your perfect fruit has turned to rot while you did nothing. <clears throat> it's time. You will return to the capital with me. What? Are you truly serious, you old goat? Glenn. No, it's the blood fault. What's she playing at now? There's no call for that sort of talk. <clears throat> that one has his uses after all. You can leave the defeat of, of Ephraim to your subordinates. <clears throat> I like how, I don't know, these guys are actually taking, uh, especially Reeve. Reeve is taking the job of general quite quite uh, seriously. He's doing he's doing well. The other ones are, you know, doing their own thing. <laughs> and yes, you can use the troops I brought with me as well. It will no doubt be an interesting battle. <laughs> Let's go now, Kalak. You wouldn't want to hurt a sit on someone's feelings, would you? Ah, what else I can do? And they leave. And now monsters appear. Now the monsters are part of the... <coughs> they are cooperating with Grado. Wait, what's going on? Their movement? It's... It's as though these creatures are cooperating with Grado's army. Yes, indeed. Anyways. Hmm. I'm gonna check this mage's range. And the same goes with that. Uh, that one's dangerous. I have to, I have to take care of that somehow. Uh, let's just start with the halberd over here. I think that's nice. 
I don't think this rush is as slow as the other <laughs> on, Af on Africa's route. Oh, it is pretty slow. Level 10, HP, skill, lock. I'll take that skill. But I have to say, this is not too impressive. Alright, let's put the hatchet and let's just attack. Very nice. I'm just a little bit worried about these guys. Yeah, I don't want to put that much people into their ranges. Let's bring everyone back. And if the if the cavalier wants to attack Calm or or Joshua, that's fine. I'll just reinforce that part. And we will need Mulder just to see. Meanwhile, here, hmm. <clears throat> Interesting. Uh, Horse layer, that one is pretty dangerous. We have to kill that one, I'd say. Uh, how does Stan affair against them? Pretty well, but she gets two shotted, so we have to be careful with that. Although Cormag seems to be kicking ass here, yeah. Man. Gotta love him. I gotta say, he is very strong. <coughs> I'm so glad you get it so early in the Ephraim route. Only an Iron Lens. I'm gonna check how much damage they do to me. 12. That's a lot of damage. Alright, let, let me just get rid of this guy. Do I not double? Yes, I do. Eh. You can always trust loot. Ah. Uh, I am so happy that we're playing Fire Emblem. I'm always happy. Level level increased. So, how have you guys been doing, by the way? How's, how's life? I don't have javelins? What? Is there any of the convoy? I don't think there is. Oh, there are, actually. No, there's a short speed, but I can't use it. Huh. Well, I guess I'll wait. I'll wait around here. With a... And meanwhile, Kyle can get finally get rid of this guy, probably, maybe. No, no, he cannot. Well, that's fine. Because Seth can really get rid of these of the mage, so that's good. I use the lens because there's cavaliers around, so I don't want to be fucking around with that. So Seth should be using the short spear, and then I could give the javelin to someone else. That's the idea. I think I'm di I did that wrong. What a while. I need definitely to buy more hand axes and javelins. Best weapons in the game. In the game. Yeah, it's the damage. If Kyle gets hit, he'll be alright. He's pretty tanky overall. Okay, good. End of turn. I'll have to base a bunch of monsters and now the... The... Grados Empire's troops. So that's looking interesting, I'd say. <laughs> hmm. Okay, good. Very good. Now a bunch of enemies will be accumulating now. In this part, but I think Calm and Joshua will do well together. Although I do, I am worried about these horses there. They're pretty scary. All right, here they come. Tough damage. Mm. One damage I do. That's impressive, Tana. Good job. <laughs> yeah, I don't think she should be facing the gargoyles. Honestly, I'll, I'll get the fuck out of her with, with her. I thought she'll do better against them, but apparently not. Ow. These odds are not looking too good. Nah, there's these dogs as well. These filthy dogs. Okay. That's fine. Ooh, they hit decently hard, actually. Like, seven damage. We will be accumulating damage if Seth doesn't dodge. Thankfully, he's a bro. And he dodges everything, so I'm fine with that. No oh, crit. <coughs> Thank you, baby Jesus. This guy shouldn't have <laughs> confronted Garcia, ever. And he gets a level up. Let's see if he keeps going with the roll in, like, every Erica's roots. Max strength, okay. Bad level up, but, you know, at least that, that's capped. 
Okay. So Kami's not having the, the best of days over here. Um, God, I miss my dance. I I'll live with her. I'll go north to help drink the vulnerary because we need uh, Molder to heal Calm. Um, Cormac will get rid of this gargoyle. Or not. Why is this gargoyle so good? Okay, well. I guess I don't have to worry that much for a fucking gargoyle. I'll try to get a crit. Kill it fast. We don't get it. Rip. Rest in pepperinos. Uh, you can never trust those crits, apparently. There's an anti. Ugh. How much damage does he do against me? He does 14. Hmm. Right, let's wait here. Throw some javelins. And we'll deal with the Zanbatu guy. The longsword guy. Soon enough, I guess. Okay. Kept the javelin just in case I missed at least once, you never know. And then I'll change the weaponry for a normal lens. And we will be taking on that dude. Alright, meanwhile, I'll gladly get rid of the uh, distance weaponry dudes. That is crucial. So Mulder is not in danger. <coughs> nice! Ooh, 99. Okay. You can get rid of this dude easily. What? 24%! How you dare! How you fucking dare! Grado soldiers. This is unacceptable. I can get rid of this dude as well. And hopefully he won't hit me. Nice. Hopefully I will hit. Nice! Well, that's excellent. Steel sword, putting in that work, getting a level up for calm. Heck yeah! Level 12! Skill speed and luck. Okay, average. Skill's pretty good though. He only has 10. So, yeah. And now, easily, we go with Ephraim here and we destroy this guy. Because Ephraim is super strong. <laughs> nice! <coughs> level up for him as well. Level 15, skill speed and defense. Interesting. Couldn't, he could do better though. I'm sure he could. Anyway, anyways, uh. Oof. Oh, I can move this guy on the water, of course. That helps. I was hoping for some sort of. Come on! God, my RNG is just not good. Alright, well. Let's not put these guys in range, uh. God, this is so bad. Because I'm accumulating damage on my units, and I'm not like that. Will you double me with that 8 speed? No, you don't. You can take one hit and then throw a javelin at you. That's what I'm thinking, at least. Okay. We're going. Now, let's see. This is all going as pretty much planned. God, Garcia does so much damage. Max strength, dude. Yeah, here comes this guy. Nice, he missed. Oh man, this is going well in the end. I appreciate that miss. And this level up for Seth. It's going to be amazing. Look, level 6. Strength, skill, and res. Not bad. Not too bad. Oof. That other part is looking dangerous, though. <coughs> I need to drink some water. Now Cormac and Tana can support the other units fighting. God, this fucking major stop. Crit him! <laughs> 2 percent crit. <laughs> uh. Spiders coming as well. Oh my god. This is a bit problematic, is it? Here they come. All of them come now. Okay. I need to think hard because there's a bunch of enemies coming. 
And the spider's coming as well now. Jesus. Alright. She can do nothing special for now. Twelve. Fourteen. Uh, Ninety percent. I trust you won't miss. Very good. <laughs> I'm actually not that worried about uh, this guy. Lance Reaver, of course. Alright, I'll put him in range so Tana can kill him. Yes, that's what I'll do. No crits, please, Seth. We need to share that experience with everyone. Seth is dodging everything. That is beautiful. God, I love him. Want to give this experience to her? No. Tana needs it definitely way more. I'll do fair against this dog. Just to show how much damage he does to me. Seven. I'll be fine. Oops. Oh. Yeah. No, we have to do with her. We have to do with loot. The Lance River is just too good against Sana. I just was. I don't know. I was thinking he'd, she'd do a bit better against that, but I guess she is a bit under level at the moment. So I think I'll bring her to help these parts. I don't think there's that much archers in there, nope. Hmm. The problem is these guys can arrive here as well. I'll stay here with this guy. Yeah, I'll stay here with uh, Gilliam. Hit this guy, kill him. And we'll see how it goes. Okay, meanwhile here, we definitely have to kill stuff. Killing the archers is primordial, especially if my air units are coming. So that's good. Short bow dude down. And that, that gives us the short bow as well. Pretty nice. Okay. Joshua here to pretty much block this place or what? I really would like to use him though, but uh, I think it's too much. I got rid of this dude. This is a bit scary. Because the, the, I don't trust the Dark Mage, that's a problem. Yeah. Hmm. Alright, level 13, skill and lock. Three lock now. Aren't you proud? Mage can do nothing to Molder probably, so I'm good with that. I'll get rid of this dude. And I'll try to crit the mercenary. Yeah. That does look like a good idea to me. Yeah, let's do it! Didn't work. And I missed too. Oh god. No! That's not what I was planning. Not at all. Tan and Cormac really need to help this part. They're really struggling there. This turn is, will be a bit hard, I think. Uh, we'll see though. Especially, I don't want him to crit now. Okay, good. He missed twice. Mm. Annoying. <laughs> well, the spiders now are going to be problematic. I'm sure of that. Mm. Just going to double him. Or not. That's impressive. <laughs> Go Kyle! Level 14, HP, Strength, Skill, Defense. Very good. Right, this is... okay. Not like this. Uh, nice! Woo. Yeah, maybe I should have been not that aggressive. Um, he could have died here. Mm. Look at him. He's having a hard time right now. Definitely. Alright. Oops. I clicked outside. My bad. Just fuck off, man. Alright. So my planning now is to block this path somehow.
Hmm. Can you one shot with that? That's good. I'll do it. Excellent. I really need to heal him though. And I really need to kill the archers as well. Oh. Alright. Killium, you move in front. Now you'll take the hit from the from the from the shaman, but at this point I'll really need to take hit. <coughs> hit from everyone apparently. Do, do, do. God, I'm not getting those crits. I need them, but it's it's difficult. Okay. I think okay. I just put Joshua. I think I think he'll be fine on the front lines. You can't really hit him that well. What the fuck? Jesus, bro. What the fuck is going on there? Man, I have to rely on luck? My luck? Oh, this is bad. This is horrible. You can kill this guy, uh, using the steel sword. God, Jesus, man, what the fuck? I shouldn't be that aggressive at the beginning of the map, I think. Nice, my beloved increased. You can use uh, killer weapons, I think, now, right? Yeah. How much damage do you do? 13, I'll be fine, especially if I kill this guy. Which I will. Good. Good job, Cormac. <sighs> Can I rescue him? Uh, we have uh, seven move. One, two, three, four. Rescue. One, two, three. I should be able to. But then, fucking Mulder is exposed. God, I was not expecting him to hit that. He's so trash. I don't know what to do with her. I guess I'll wait here. And just pray on the lock. Pray the lock. God. It's terrible. That 28% hit just send everything to shit. Now I, I do have to believe on the misses right now. Oops, I should have checked. God fucking damn it. I don't know why I clicked to that fast. That was a misclick completely. I should have used thunder. That's fine. <coughs> God! Oh, rage, rages. I can see the rage, rage increasing inside me. Alright, let's go. Because these fucking spiders are so fucking lucky. Look at this! God is gross. Thanks for these crits. Probably not going to be useful at all. Stupid. Alright, this is good. Especially if he doesn't kill him. Which I think he don't he will not because the steel lens is pretty heavy, so that's good. That's also good. Well now you got a creep, of course. Now you get the fucking creep. Fucking Ephraim. I still need to get attacked by the chairmans, I still need to get attacked by the fucking dog. My god. Yeah, I know. He's definitely going to hit too. <sighs> okay, Joshua. Trust you, dude. This is alright, as expected. Ouch. Nice level up. <laughs> level 13, HP strength. Eh. 
horrible. <laughs> mm. Can I have luck now? They already hit a 28%. believe this. This is... Alright. <laughs> I guess that's enough for a pod. <laughs> Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next fucking time. God! With my luck is on my side. <sighs> I guess I shouldn't have risked it. I I'll play more way more defensively now. Um, I'll be back in the next episode of Fire Emblem fucking 8. See ya.